Moms Every Day with Kat Cooper, brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com. The arrival of little ones means lots of new things. Toys, clothes, cribs, bottles, and much more. But one item you may not be able to add to your registry is a car to transport your new family member around town. When your family expands, your budget shrinks, so a new-to-you used car may be the way to go. Here to help us shop for used cars is MSU FCU COO April Klobus. Welcome, April. Thanks, Cap. What should we be doing before we start shopping for a used car? Well, we always advise everyone to do their homework before they go shopping. Um, if you go to a dealer, you'll make an emotional purchase, and you may end up paying more for your car than you planned for. Um, there are lots of tools to help you budget for your new car. Uh, you can go to our website and we have tools that will help you know what the retail value of your trade-in is and or what the price of the car you're looking to buy should be priced at based upon what its value is currently in the market. Um, and then from there you should also know what you can afford in your budget and be pre-approved by a loan officer beforehand. And we have a product that's a check that you can take with you and write out a check right there for your car. So how do we know how much each payment is going to be for our used car? Well, you can do that on our website as well. We have a calculator you can type in. So if you're going to buy a car for $20,000 and you would like to have the car for four or five years, you can type in the term of that amount of years and our current rates are listed there and it will tell you your estimated monthly payment. Thank you so much for that information, April. For more on this and other great topics for moms, log on to MomsEveryday.com and have a great day. Moms Every Day with Kat Cooper, weekday mornings at 8.55, is brought to you by the sponsors of MomsEveryday.com.